Welcome back everyone, I'm LCLC and today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips and tricks in my supermarket. Tip 1. Trolleys, 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 otherwise known as the shopping cart. Now you need to buy as many of these as you can, I've maxed out there to 50 because what happens when a lot of customers turn up, if you run out of trolleys, they will just be standing there waiting around, not coming into your supermarket and buying things. So you don't want to slow them down. You want as many trolleys as you can afford. And at the beginning, you may need to do a bit of management between the trolley uh, exit and the trolley entrance. So just run your trolleys around, get as many as you can into the queue ready for customers to pick up. Now, this may seem obvious, but a lot of people are not buying enough trolleys. Spend your money on shopping carts, guys. It's important. Tip two. Only have one of each shelf, one of each type of product. Here I've got two, I'm gonna remove one. You don't want your workers wasting time restocking shelves when a customer is only looking for one set of corn. He's not gonna buy two. So just have one shelf of each kind at the early start of your game. Hey Bliss, how you doing? If you wanna be in a video like Bliss, then comment down below to let me know. Tip three. Car park. This is the place where your customers will turn up in their cars and come and buy stuff in your supermarket. So try and buy as many car park places as you can. Now, they are very expensive and they scale up. So we're gonna to head to the supermarket now. Sorry, not the supermarket. We're gonna to head to the big shop or whatever they've called it in this game. And we're gonna buy a couple more parking spaces. Now, they scale up and they're very expensive. So I'm gonna buy a couple here. I've already bought quite a few that, that they're very expensive. They're 300K I'm gonna spend just on a couple of car park spaces, lay them down just to show you what they look like and it's as simple as that just position them as close as you can as possible because as you get bigger and bigger you're going to fill up this entire car park with car park spaces tip four tasks do the tasks bliss taught me this and she did it so well in arcade empire she is top of the leaderboard something like fourth anyway you want to see this guy you want to press f and you want to listen to his instructions it will be something simple something like uh sell cheese sell 15 cheeses and you will get forty thousand bucks for this particular task so follow his instructions and go back and see him when you're finished and collect your money it's easy money don't forget to do it tip five faster tills the tills that you start with are really slow so what you want to do is upgrade them as soon as you can the first thing you want to be able to afford is a brand new till now this is the cheap cash till that you start with and i was getting a huge backlog of customers waiting to be checked out and they were just queuing up at my door now i've upgraded to these ten thousand pound arc arcade cash tills cash tills and i'm going to be saving up for the more expensive ones in my next video these go up to 1 million each they serve customers a lot faster get people in and out the door quick and get money in tip six hire good staff now you know they're good because they cost a lot and they're different colors so blue and green are better than the plain color this member of staff here stephanie she has some op power up she costs a lot of money but as soon as you see her available you want to purchase her the staff recruitment refreshes every so often so there's a countdown here for 46 minutes then you'll get a whole range of new staff to hire hire the good ones when they become available which then brings me on to my next tip tip seven manage your staff Staff. Every time you level up, you get more spots to pull staff into your workforce in your supermarket and you want to manage them carefully. You want to put the bad ones to rest. So she's a one star. She's only got a small power up. You want to put the blues and the greens to work. So manage your staff. I know a lot of people are not doing this. I had Blue Call Pizza come up to me and say, what? I didn't even know that menu was there. Check out some of my really expensive staff. She's a three star. She's got a speed up checkout for male customers level three and more likely to get a tip level three. So you want to put your best staff to work straight away. Tip eight. Just like in my arcade, you have customers. So go to info. We've got these special customers. Now you want to unlock as many as you can. Different customers bring different things. If you're not sure which one you need to unlock next, simply go into this menu and see what this one needs. So this one's locked and it looks like she or he needs the puzzle. So we're going to head over to the shop and buy the puzzle shelf. Now this, <laughs> this actually has a Roblox puzzle on its shelf, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I noticed a lot of the shelves have got quite a lot of detail on it. If you go check them out, uh, you'll see some cool stuff. So this is the puzzle rack, uh, 123K. We're going to buy that. We're going to put it in the store. Head back to my store. Oh, Batman. Hey, Batman. How you doing? I unlocked Batman already. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it was the sausages. If you want to unlock Batman, go and buy the sausage shelf. Anyway, uh, yeah, Batman looks pretty cool, but we're not unlocking Batman right now. We're unlocking the customer who wants the puzzle. So as soon as we lay this puzzle rack down, where shall I put it? I'm going to put it, where am I? Batman's in my way. I'm going to put it down there and we've unlocked the new customer. Tip 
nine. Don't ignore these things over here. They're not just decoration. They're not just pretty balloons. This one costs 500K, gives you a cash bonus of 1% forever. So I'm gonna buy that, gonna go check it out. So yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah, I've got floating balloons outside my supermarket, but all oh, Batman's coming towards me, I better go. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. And then you can go and buy the next one, which is 1.5 million, and you get another 1% cash bonus. There was also another one for 10 million, which I can't afford right now. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what the two balloons look like uh, next to each other. And then I'm going to show you my final, final, final tip, tip 10. So yeah, there's the balloons, they look pretty cool. Actually, before we jump onto tip 10, there's also market theme. These are really expensive. I've only got, I've only got 60, I've only got 6 million at the moment, this costs 16, but these also give you cash bonus and stack. Same with the market roof, uh, but it's a Robux item, 500 Robux, if you've got Robux, then you might wanna purchase that for a long-term 2% bonus. Also some sky decor, <laughs> what a mega balloon, an air balloon, that also gives you a cash bonus forever. So go and buy that if you can afford it. Tip 10. Okay, so these are my final tip tips first of all unlock this wall this isn't the tip by the way i'm just showing you unlocking this wall you just go up to it and you press f and boom you've got a bigger supermarket now what i am going to tell you now is what i've discovered so far and this game isn't as simple as my restaurant or uh, arcade empire the layouts are quite complex now you're very short on staff on workers in this game so you want to lay out your arcade sorry <laughs> i mean your supermarket as well as you can so in the entrance you want to have all of the food that they can buy and then near the exit that you want the checkout tills. Those two things are probably obvious to most of you. So I'm gonna just go back in the other entrance just to show you what else I've been doing. I've been placing my uh, stocking, restocking shelves around the uh, supermarket so that there's less distance for all the staff to travel between restocking the shelves and the shelves. If this video has helped you out, smash the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel with the bell notification for the latest and greatest videos in my supermarket. And if you want to be in a video like Bliss, who has helped me out greatly with this game, then comment down below to let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very soon in another supermarket video. Goodbye.